Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. First of all, if you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification when we post new video on channel. In this video, you will learn step-by-step -step procedure to perform verification of rose mount 8732 magnetic flowmeter. First of all, what do we need in verification kit in order to perform verification? Firstly, we need rose mount 8714D magnetic flow tube simulator. Secondly, we need rose mount 3 and 4 pin simulator cable. As you can see from the picture that, one end has metal connector, and other end has two connectors. In this section, we will learn to do verification of rose mount 8732 magnetic flowmeter. First of all, note down existing parameters of flowmeter such as tube calibration number, unit, analog output range, and coil drive frequency. We are going to change all these parameters. So, it is important to note down these parameters before making any changes in flowmeter. Now, use local operator interface to change the parameters of transmitters to the following. Firstly, we will change the tube calibration number. In order to access tube calibration number, press down arrow until you see basic setup menu. When you see basic setup menu, press right arrow to enter in this menu. In basic setup menu, you can find different options such as units, upper range value, lower range value, and cal tube number. Now press down arrow until you see cal number menu option. Press right arrow to see existing calibration number. Now change existing number, and set simulator calibration number. In order to change calibration number, first of all, press right arrow to position the cursor to the first digit from left. Then press up and down arrows to set the number. Repeat same steps until entire calibration number is set. Once calibration number is set, press E or left arrow to store the number into flowmeter. Now set upper range value to 30 feet per second. In order to access upper range value menu, select basic setup and press right arrow. Scroll down in basic setup menu by using in down arrow. When you see URV menu, press right arrow to see existing upper range value. In order to change this value, press right arrow to position the cursor to the digit which you want to change. Then press up and down arrow to set the number. Repeat same steps until 30 is set. When 30 is set, press E or left arrow to store the number to flowmeter. Now, set unit to feet per second. In order to set unit, select flow unit menu option and press right arrow. Scroll down in the flow unit menu by using down arrow. You can find different flow units in this menu. Select feet per second unit. And press E or left arrow to store the unit in flowmeter. Lastly, set coil drive frequency to 5 Hz. In order to access coil frequency option, go to detailed setup menu, then select more parameter. Set coil frequency to 5 Hz, and press E or left arrow to store the value. In this step, we need to power down the transmitter. Once power is off, remove electronics cover, and remove local operator interface or display of transmitter. In this step, disconnect existing connection of transmitter. As you can see from the picture, remove both connector from transmitter. Now, connect 8714D simulator cable to transmitter. 
As you can see from the picture that, one end of cable is connected to simulator, and other end is connected to transmitter. After this, connect local operator interface or display to transmitter. At this stage, everything is set up. So, we are ready to perform verification test. Move the knob of simulator to 3 feet per second position from 0 feet per second. Measured flow value will be displayed on the screen. This measured value should be close to 3 feet per second. Now, move the knob of simulator to 10 feet per second position. And note down measured flow value from transmitter display. Measured value of flow should be close to 10 feet per second. After this, move knob of simulator to 30 feet per second position. And note down measured flow value from transmitter display. Measured value of flow should be close to 30 feet per second. Once you are done verification, move the knob of simulator to 0 feet per second. And wait till display shows 0 feet per second. Now, turn off the transmitter. Once power is off, disconnect local operator interface, and then disconnect 8714D simulator cable from transmitter. After this, connect both existing connector cable to transmitter, and also connect local operator interface. At the end, once connection is done, turn on the transmitter, and restore existing parameters of flowmeter. In other words, restore all parameters which we have changed to perform verification test. First of all, restore calibration number of flowmeter. Secondly, change upper range value of flow. After this, restore flow unit of flow meter. Lastly, restore coil frequency of flow meter. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you really like this video. If you need videos on some specific topic such as flow, pressure, temperature, level, then please let us know in comment box.